morning, everyone. You're in the office with Joseph Skoda, part of Social Media Show's network. And it's exciting to be alive today because, quite frankly, it's better than not being alive. <laughs> I have to tell you. Now, sometimes in life, we are afraid to take chances because we're afraid we might not be alive the next minute or the next day. And I can understand that. You don't necessarily jump off of bridges or out of airplanes without parachutes or at least proper training. We have to be careful not just to take stupid chances. But we must, we must take chances from time to time. We cannot grow in our life, in our pocketbook, and some, some ideas and chances, unless we're willing to take that extra step and do something. Sometimes it might be stupid. Ain't that right, Maria Preza Leventhal? She can tell you all about, about sometimes we do things that are stupid. Now, sometimes we do it on a dare, and sometimes we think we just know everything. And when we think we know everything, we just take chances all day long. Now, quite frankly, if you have $100 in your pocket, and you go to the casino and with hopes of doubling or tripling it or even more, fantastic, that's taking a chance. But if it's your last hundred dollars, stay home. Don't go. Lock the door so you can't get out of the house. Don't be. Don't take stupid chances. Don't go out there and do something totally stupid and outrageous if you can't afford to. <clears throat> Let me go and tell you. A lot of people join the military or go to college or do a lot of different things. Start a business, for example. And taking a chance, like stepping out of their comfort zone to do something a little different with the hopes of a huge reward, a huge payoff in some circumstances. So when do we do that? Now, when we have a, a child of ours, for instance, wanting to join the military, are we encouraging them? Or are we telling them, no, that's stupid. It, it, you can get shot at. It's dangerous. Yeah, it is dangerous. Yeah, you could get shot at as a policeman or even a teacher. I mean, our society is not always as safe as we really like to think it is. So when someone wants to join the military or serve, serve as, as a policeman or fireman or, or even being an EMT doctor, whatever it is, we should encourage them to take those chances, to take a chance on themselves that they can uh, make it happen, that they can learn, they can grow exponentially, not necessarily in the midsection, but exponentially in knowledge up here. Because when we, we learn things, we learn how to care for someone uh, medically, financially in some cases, uh, we learn how to care and serve others, our world changes. And it usually changes for the better because once we learn how to care for other people, then we take all this gunk and junk out of ourselves. And we have a lot of gunk and junk built up. And a lot of us have resentment built up. But when we start caring and giving back to someone else, our lives can be relieved of all of that. Let go of that stuff holding you back yesterday. Today's a new day. I encourage you, even if you want to join a network like social media shows and say, yeah, I, I'm ready to do my own my own podcast, my own show, share my how, my best recipes, whatever it is, take that chance. Don't be afraid. We need you to go out there and, and with your entrepreneur spirit and, and show us, teach us, help us learn from you. Now, we kind of stop being afraid to take those chances. Quite frankly, you may lose that $100 today. Okay, well, tomorrow is a different day. Tomorrow should be a different day. We should not be afraid to take those chances. Now, I'm saying that a lot. Take those chances, take those chances. I understand because I, I get real passionate about certain things. If I did not join the military, if I did not get my degree, if I did not jump in, and start my own business, is where would I be today? Maybe I'd be more successful if I just stayed home and didn't join the military. Maybe. I'm not saying that couldn't happen. But who I am today is because of those different opportunities that were in front of me. And I said, yeah, let me try that. I think I can do that. Yeah, give me a chance. Let me try something different than what I'm used to. 
For instance, I'm a scuba diver. Sure, it was scary in the beginning, and sometimes it still is. And I joined for the wrong reason. I was in, I think I was in Amway at the time, and I was trying to get a new rep. And he likes scuba diving. So what do you do? You get involved with other people's activities to try to build that connection, that rapport with them. So I jumped in the water. I was scared. He never really did sign up in my program at the time, but I got hooked on jumping in the water with the, the fishes and the coral. And yeah, sometimes you see a shark or two out there, but it was a lot of fun. And today I probably have about 150, 160 dives. Anywhere from, I don't know, 10 feet in the water to 120 feet in the water. Traveling places like Panama, Hawaii, of course, scuba diving in the Philippines, and even the Persian Gulf. Got to do some scuba diving out there. Now, those are something I took a chance on for the wrong reason. Now, let's talk about another one. I'm a Toastmaster. You know I'm a Toastmaster. I talk about all the time. We help people develop uh, communication and leadership skills through the art of public speaking. Sure, I understand. Well, I'm, I'm afraid I'm not going to be a public speaker. Whatever. Take a chance. And there's more out there than just being a public speaker for a profession or something. It helps you in so many different ways, especially self-confidence. But I took a chance to join someone. Same thing. I was in a business venture and, and try to get my 30-second um, elevator pitch. It was horrible, horrible. And 60-second was even worse. And one of the guys in that networking group <clears throat> dragged me to this Toastmasters meeting. So you need this. Trust me, this will help you do better at your business, at your job. And I'm thinking, sure, why not? Another opportunity to network and meet new people. <clears throat> Wrong. <laughs> I wasn't there to to hit them and, and show them what I was doing. I was there, or they were there to teach me and help me to become a better, not just entrepreneur, but a better person. And when I stopped pushing and begging people to come into my business, I just worked on myself. My own self-confidence went up. I worked on my posture. I went on looking around and how I can speak more clearly Without those filler words like, you know, ums, ers, ahs, that many of us have in our vocabulary. And we need to learn how to let it go. So joining a club like Toastmasters has helped my business exponentially. Learn how to scuba dive has also built up, built up my self-esteem exponentially. Those are different chances I've took in life to say, let me try something different. Joining the Air Force, of course, it increased my leadership skills, increased my confidence, let me travel the world, give me opportunity to go to school and get a couple of degrees and work it to my advantage where I eventually retired as an Air Force officer. Now, those are exciting when your kid wants to join the military, military, kid wants to go to school, kid wants to learn how to be a welder. Help them. There's a lot of money. Well, the military is not a lot of money, but there's a lot of opportunity. But you want to be that welder or go to school or, or learn how to even fix cars. If that's your passion, go for it. But every now and then, step out. And join a Toastmasters club. Join a photography club. Join the Rotary Club. Quite frankly, there's something in all those organizations that help us become just a little bit better than we are. Sure, you may think you have it going on, and your significant other may encourage you and keep telling you you have it going on, but we can all have it going on just a little bit more, just a little bit better. Because quite frankly, you and I, we do have bad days from time to time to time. At least I do. And we have bad days. We need something to look forward to. If it's that Toastmasters meeting in the evening where everybody claps when you walk in the front of the room and builds you up. It's awesome. There is not a much better way. I have a club start at 7 o'clock in the morning. And there is no place I would rather be than that meeting at 7 o'clock in the morning. Whatever it is, take chances out there. You need to buy a house that's a little bit out of your range. Yeah, we still have to live within our means, of course. 
but do those calculations. Cut back on a couple Starbucks or whatever else you need to do. Do you really need to pay for cable TV? Come on, no you don't. I haven't had cable TV in 10 years or satellite or any of that. We don't need those things. Hey, I love to watch a good TV and a show and go to the movies from time to time. Of course I do. It's exciting. But darn, you need to work on yourself first. Work on your passion. And if your passion is watching The Simpsons, <laughs> that's, that's your passion. You got to get home and watch The Simpsons and that's what you want to do every day. Well, I encourage you to find something else. No, it's okay. I happen to think The Simpsons is a pretty good show, but what the longest lasting animated um, TV show forever, I believe, something like that. Great show. Some of it's stupid. Some of it's entertaining. But don't make that the only reason you wake up in the morning or the reason you rush home. you got to have that passion, guys. Find what makes you tick. If you don't know what makes you tick, take salsa lessons. You may be the uh, next professional salsa dancing competitor in the world, whatever it is. Take a chance. Life's too short to run home and watch The Simpsons or see what else is on TV or make it to all those games. Find a passion. And you can have more than one passion. <laughs> if you're married, <laughs> he or she better be your number one passion. But outside of that, find something else you can do together. You want to learn chess? Get out there and be the just best chess player ever. Whatever it takes. You want to learn how to do videos, write blogs. Contact me. I do all those things. Vacation, contact me. I'll show you some of the tricks of the trade where I go and how I get there. But if you have a message you want to share, look us up on social media shows. Maria and I and the rest of the team will love to work with you and show you what we're passionate about. Anyways, this has been In the Office with Joseph Skoda. Life is too short. And go out there and step out of your comfort zone. Go out there and try something new. Step off of the curb. It might be the best decision you ever made. Have yourself a great day. Bye now. <laughs>